Hello there, my name is Ismail and this is part two of our texturing tutorial. Uh, so uh, let's set up the texture maps uh, that we're going to be using for texturing and also try to optimize our UV uh, maps uh, so that they can uh, utilize uh, the maximum UV space available. Uh, as you can see, we have quite a number of objects here and uh, we're going to be using 2K maps or 2K texture resolution maps uh, for our texturing so that we can capture enough resolution for our uh, textures. Uh, but uh, the thing is that uh, we have a lot of objects here. We have this small object. We have this stamp. These are all individual objects. And uh, you can obviously create in-video texture, 2K textures for each of these objects. But uh, that's, that would be a lot of wasting of uh, texture space. And, uh, and uh, if you're going to use these maps, uh, these objects in, say, a game, in a game environment, uh, that is going to take up a lot of uh, texture resources uh, so we can optimize our textures by sharing by having these objects share the same UV map and the, the way we do that is that uh, say these small objects mostly objects that are related uh, for example this pen here and uh, this uh, stamp here uh, this maybe not the, the compass that can be a separate object so uh, this here uh, this paper and uh, maybe even this ink port here uh, plus its cover can all utilize the same UV map or the same UV texture uh, so that we don't have each of these objects have their own uh, texture map. We, we, we might end up with 30 to 10, 30 to 20 uh, texture maps uh, that are not necessary. So remember we're trying to optimize our uh, texture space. And uh, since this is also a paper, we can also use that and uh, this uh, thread here can also be, you can also use the same uh, texture. Maybe let me just also group them into their own uh, texture, in their, into their own collection. So I'll just hit M, new collection, and I'll call these papers, so that if I want to select them, I can just select that collection. So let's see what else we can, can we add into this collection that's related and see this is what we have so some of these objects are just duplicates of the other so for example this here is the same as this object here so there is no reason for us to create two different materials or two different textures for both of these objects when they are duplicates uh, we can just use the same uh, object uh, by the same object data that means uh, ECV maps and textures by just linking, linking them uh, to the same object data so uh, another thing, we, we can have these books uh, as separate objects. Uh, we can just have them have their own collection. But I think for now, this collection has all the objects it needs. So let me make sure that I'm not missing anything. And now you can see we have a few extra papers down, but uh, those can be the same, can use the same uh, texture map as uh, this, this one here. So. Now to optimize this, uh, we want all these objects to share the same UV map, so we can go to UV editing. I uh, remember I already have these objects UV unwrapped. Let me just isolate them. Make sure also my screen keys are showing here. If I deselect them and select individuals, you can see that uh, each of these has already be, been unwrapped, but uh, they all have the same, their own individual UV map. So if I select all of them, and go to edit mode I can unwrap them at once or just go to UV park park islands uh, so that we move so that we they all share the same UV space so uh, you can see how we have them and uh, we you, ca you always want to have some space between the different UV islands and uh, for that you can uh, after you park you click on park islands uh, you get this uh, menu here uh, you can increase the, mani the margin here to increase the gap between uh, those objects, those UV islands. And the reason for that is that uh, when you want, say you're painting on this island, you don't want to your paint uh, to bleed off to uh, this other island. Uh, that's why we have this padding, so that if there is any bleeding, it's bleeding out on this padding, uh, padding space instead of other islands. Yeah, so now that we have that done, uh, let's go and uh, select a bunch of other objects and give them their own collection. So I can get rid of this because it's just a duplicate of the other objects and I can always just come back to that. 
Uh, then, and uh, also this, we can always just come back to that. Oh my, we just come back to that. Don't need to, there's no need to delete it. Uh, these ob objects also share the same, they are all the same. These books are the same objects, so there is no reason for us to have them as separate objects. So I can just accept, uh, we have a few different here. This, this book is different from this, so yeah, we can have that separate. I also don't like how they're slanting a bit, so let me just clear that, that slanting there. that I don't want that there okay so now we can get the books all the books we have so this book so we have three let me just make sure that I am seeing all the books I have here so I have this is a different book different design so I can just select this book and then this otherwise we'll just copy the, the same object that are there and uh, this book, these books can share the same UV island uh, with this campus. And then also maybe share the same UV island with this lamp. And uh, what else do we have? Can just give them a new collection called books. Yeah, also we also have this other book here. So let me just switch this off for a second. Remove, delete the, all these duplicates. Let me also save the a backup of this project so that if I mess up, I can always go back. So we have all the original books around. So I have this design, this design, and uh, this design. Maybe we can have a few duplicates for the books uh, in case we need a variation of the book. So I can just grab a few of these. So maybe let me duplicate this three times or four times. So this this means that uh, these variations will have uh, different book covers. And uh, maybe also create another duplicate of this. So this also these two will have maybe let me just create a third one. We'll have a variation of this. And uh, these all can share the same UV island. So let me just select entire book collection shift G collection go to edit mode and uh, just park islands you can see reduce uh, this margin so that is not too big so you can see how this is optimized let me look at uh, the size of my campus here if it's getting enough texture space I think that's good enough or maybe let me just scale it up a bit because I wanted to use uh, quite a, some good good uh, resolution for this. I want this to have some uh, nice resolution, so I'll just scale it up by and video objects. Now, after I scale it up, I scale the UVs up and select my collection again. So Shift G collection, and then Park Islands again. Just make sure you turn off rotate so that they retain uh, the, the scale uh, that we have just made. So this is good, I think. And uh, so, yep, we have the books collection. Go back to this layout. Have the books collection. Then we have the papers. You can stack them if you want. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to stack them right now because we are going to be baking ambient occlusion and you don't want uh, these books to be too close uh, so that uh, they start occluding each other, which will come up in the occlusion. So let me also move this around. Just delete these duplicates that we're not going to be using. So, okay. Select this collection and see what's in it. Okay, 
Okay. Okay. So each object has its own collection, and uh, for these two here, how they can share the, the same collection because they are big items. Uh, so they, we don't want them to be packed with other objects. So again, new V, pack islands, and uh, that's what we have. So I can have these as furniture, have them in the furniture, furniture collection. Yeah, so now in the next part, we can start baking out uh, the materials uh, for these objects, uh, baking out the ambient occlusion and also uh, the point names map, what are, which I will talk about in the next tutorial.